the way this unfolds is fundamentally impossible to predict because of self-improvement of the AI and the accelerating timeline. Yeah, it's called Any singularity solution. for a reason. Yeah, yeah exactly. You don't know what goes up. What, what, what happens after, when, after the event horizon? You know? Exactly. You can never see past the black hole or the event horizon, the yeah. light going. I mean, Ray, Ray has a singularity out way too far. I mean, this is like the next, what? What's your timeline for, yeah. for this? We're in the singularity. Well, we are in the singularity, for yeah. sure. We're in the yeah. midst of it right now, for sure. Yeah. And it would just well, we're in the, we're in this beautiful sweet spot, which is you know the we're, we're on the roller coasters. We're just yeah, exactly. That's, that's a great analogy. It's like that feeling. <laughs> you're at of, the top oh, of the roller coaster, and you're about to go. Yeah, down. but you know it's gonna be a lot of G's when you yeah, a lot of <laughs> when G's. you hit it. Yeah. Uh, it's, and it's like people like I don't have just have courtside seats. I'm on the court exactly, and it, and it blows my and it still blows my mind. Sometimes multiple times a week. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah. so just when I think I'm like wow and then it's like two days later more wow yeah um exponential wow yeah i think we'll hit um agi next year in 26 yeah i heard yeah. you say that yeah. yeah i've said that for a while actually and then you know um, and then you said by 2029 20, 2030 equivalent to the entire human race 2030 we exceed like i'm confident by 2030 um it, ai will exceed the the intelligence of all humans combined. And that's way pessimistic. If, if you hit AGI next year, and that's, that's you know, that date is, is in flux, but from that date to self-improvements that are on the order of a thousand, 10,000 X, just algorithmic improvements is very short. And so, so why isn't everybody, so, so, uh, why isn't everybody uh, talking about this right now? Well, I mean, it, on, on, the, the, on X, on X are. they are. Yes, but why uh, is it? about every day, basically. Yeah, but it's Don't like, stop. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. It's not. Okay, so I'll tell you something else that, I'll, I'll tell you something that most people in the AI community don't yet understand. Okay. Um, which is, they're in, the, almost no one understands this. Um, the intelligence density potential uh, is vastly greater than what we're currently experiencing. So I, I think, we're, we're off by tours of magnitude in terms of the intelligence density per gigabyte. Um, of what, what's achievable? Yes. Per yeah. gigawatt of energy? For, I'm, so per let's characterize it by file size. Okay. Uh, yeah. if the file size of the AI, if, if, you, if you have a, say, a gig, intelligence per oh, gigabyte. Oh, okay, in a, in a, yes, sir. Um, on your, on you your premise, it on your laptop. In power tube, but it's yeah. just, or it parameter the same thing, yeah. whatever. Um, so so two, two orders of magnitude. Yes. Yeah. And you, like you said, you ringside courtside seat you would know i'd say it's 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 uh two, yes yeah towards magnitude improvement in um that's just just algorithmic improvement same computer and the computers are getting better yeah so and, and bigger you know see they're getting better and the budgets are getting bigger so, so that's, that's why the, i think i think it's it, it is on uh, it is like a 10x improvement per year type of thing thousand percent yeah and that and that's going to happen for, yeah, for the foreseeable future. So you see the massive underreaction. Like if you walk downtown Austin, the, the massive. I mean, it may be under discussion in X, but it's not percolating well, out. Well, it's not. It's not discussion in any realm of government. Everybody is yeah. like defending their position about where we are and jobs and this. But it's it's like we're heading towards a. The super supersonic tsunami, <laughs> and and, and uh, uh, I mean every every you know every major CEO and economist and government leader should be like, well, what do we do? Because yep. once it hits, well, it, it's coming at the exact same time. There, no matter what, there's no there's no concept of let's deliberately slow down, right? No, it's impossible. It's impossible at this stage. I mean, I <clears throat> I've, I've previously advised that we s slow it down but that was point that uh that's pointless like i i, I like you can't mm -hmm. i'm like china's i don't not know i think we down. might be going to yeah. but too fast guys <laughs> um i've said that many years and and i was like okay then i finally came to the conclusion i can either be a spectator or a participant mm -hmm. but i can't stop it yeah. so at least if i'm a participant i can try to steer it in a good direction um and uh like my number one belief for safety of AI is to be maximally truth seeking. So um, that don't make AI believe things that are false. Like if you say, if you, if you say the AI that axiom A and axiom B are both true, but they're, 
but they cannot, be, but, it, but they're not. Yeah. Um, and it has to, but it must behave that way. Um, you will make it go insane. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, may, <laughs> give it, give don't it, force AI to lie. This is a give it factual, yeah, truthful. Problem. Yes. Yeah, Ilya recently did a podcast. He was talking about one of the potential things to program into AI is is a respect for sentient life of all types. Um, yes. What, and what, yes. I mean, so I'd say another property. Yes. Uh, I mean, there are three things that I think are important. Um, truth curiosity, and beauty. Mm -hmm. And if AI cares about those three things, uh, it will care about us. On which part? Truth will prevent AI from going insane. Mm -hmm. Curiosity, I think, will foster uh, any form of sentience, meaning it, it, like we are more interesting than a bunch of rocks. Yeah. So if, it has, if it's curious, then I think it will foster humanity. Um, and if it has a sense of beauty, um, it will be a great future. Mm. I think and that's, then a, great, Jeffrey, that's I mean, a great foundation. Yeah, Jeffrey Hinton made a comment recently, I don't know if you saw it, that his, his hopeful future was that we would program maternal instincts into yeah. our AIs to see us with as maternal? Yeah, in other words, oh, you, haven't heard this? you haven't heard this? <laughs> yeah. So he said, uh, it's a little he, scary. He said, there's, uh, a, I don't know. There's, a, there's a scenario where a very intelligent being succumbs to the needs of a less intelligent being, and that's the mother taking care of the child. Do you think that we might have a uh, singulatarian, uh, like a, a, a ASI that, uh, that achieves dominance and suppresses others? And do you imagine that that ASI could be a means to stabilize the world and humanity? Darwin's Observations about evolution yes. will apply to AI, just okay. as they apply to biological life. They will compete with each other? Yes. There's a lot of great science fiction books where the first ASI basically suppresses the others. Um, then the question is, what do you program into it? You know, uh, so don't go into medical school. Yes, yeah. pointless. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if, if, unless you... But I would say that applies to any form of education. Is <laughs> there's a shortage of doctors and and and, and great surgeons. You're a doctor yourself. Yes. You know how that there. It takes a long time for a human to become it's, it, it, ridiculously expensive and long. Ridiculously, yes, ridiculously a super long time to learn to be a yeah. good doctor, um, and and even then the the knowledge is constantly evolving. It's yes. hard to keep up with everything. Uh, you know, doctors have limited time. They make mistakes. Um, and you say like how many, how many great surgeons are there? Not not that many great surgeons. When do you think optimists um, will be a better surgeon than the best surgeons? How long for that? Three years. Three years. Okay. Yeah. And by the I, way, that's I say three, I mean, year, three years. Three years at, at scale. Yes. All I mean, there'll sudden, be more. There will yeah. probably be more optimist robots that are great surgeons than there are. Sure. All surgeons on earth. And the cost of that wow. is the capex and electricity, and it works in Zimbabwe. The best surgeon is throughout in the villages throughout Africa or any place on the planet. Yeah, where do you think it'll roll out first? Not the U.S., obviously. Um, Here at, at the uh, Gigafactory. <laughs> oh, yeah, just do surgery yeah. in the... <laughs> um, yeah, but that's an important yeah. statement in three years' time. Yeah. Um, because yeah. medicine... I mean, I'm not like absolutely certain, but I'd say if, if you say four, like four, four years, I'd be absolutely certain. If it's four certain. or five years, yeah. who cares? That's yeah. still an incredible uh, statement to make. I mean, good for humanity, right? All of a sudden, you demonetize. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing to understand about like, like humanoid robots in terms yeah. of the rate of improvement, um, it, which is is that the um, you you have um, three exponentials multiplied by each other. You have an exponential increase in the AI software capability, yeah. exponential increase in the AI chip capability, mm -hmm. um, and an exponential increase in the electromechanical dexterity. The usefulness of the humanoid robot is. Uh, it's those three things multiplied by each other. Right. Um, then you have the recursive effect of Optimus building Optimus. Right. And then you have the shared. Is that, is that, you have a rec recursive, multiplicable, yeah. triple exponential. And you yeah. have the shared knowledge of all all the experiences. Is that That's literally fast. Optimus building Optimus, or is it because uh, you know the? Well, the, not right now, but will be. Yeah. You have the, the physical humanoid form factor building the humanoid form, as yeah, opposed so to it's a von Neumann machine. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I love that. But the von Neumann machine is usually something kind of like this shape, you know, making uh, something else this no, shape. No, in you know? principle, it's simply a, a self-replicating yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, Elon, yeah. Elon, do you but, know what the number one question you ask a surgeon when you're interviewing them? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is, this a, is this a surgeon joke? No, no, no. <laughs> no. It's, how many, it's how many times do you, how many times do, you do that? <laughs> There's got to be uh, some funny... <laughs> When he's searching I wish, jokes. I wish. <laughs> no, it's serious. It's, it's, it's how many times did you do the surgery this morning? Sorry? How many times did you do the surgery this morning or yesterday? Yep. It's, the, it's the number yep. of experiences, right? And so with right. a shared memory, um, you know, every optimist surgeon will have seen every possible yeah. perturbation of every it, case. Like it won't be possible yeah. for In infrared, in ultraviolet, no, not too much caffeine yeah. that morning. They didn't have a, a fight with their husband or wife. Yeah. Extreme precision. Yes. Three years. Um, yes. Better than any, any, probably, I'd say, if you like, put a little margin on it, my better niece, than any my human niece in four who's years. In, who's in plastic surgery. F by five years, it's not even close. This. So what, what about the simple, like, <laughs> just, I mean, there's, there's a million of these things to figure out, but who's going to have access to the first optimus that does far, far better microsurgery than any surgeon on earth, but you've only manufactured the first 10,000 of them? No, how do you dole it out? I don't think people understand how many robots there's going to be. Yeah. Well, there, there's well, got to be a window of Saudi time where there's 10, 10 billion by 2040. You still on that path? Uh, that's not. That's a low number. A low number. Wow. What's the constraint? What, what's the? Because uh, if they're self-building, you know, <laughs> metal. The constraint is metal. Yeah, or lithium. Or, <laughs> yeah, you got to move uh, the atoms. Um, it's just all out. Of just well, oh. supply chain stuff so yeah like, but your, your point um, your, i mean there's some right limit you can't just manufacturing is very difficult so you've got you gotta you you, you it's 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 recursive multiplicable triple exponential but but you still need to you still you still have to <laughs> climb that you know selling hope once again i, th I think your point was medicine is going to be effectively free the best medicine in the world everyone will have access to, to yeah. medical care that is better than what the president receives right now. So don't go into medical school. Yes, yeah. pointless. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, if, if, unless you, uh, but I, I would say that applies to any form of education. Is, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no. like uh, South Korea is like uh, point what, seven, one, yeah, point one six. third replacement rate. Yeah, Isn't it's that crazy. crazy? It's yeah, crazy. so three generations, they're going to be one twenty seventh, so 3% three, three so, so of their current size. I mean, North Korea uh, won't need to invade, they can just walk across. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> this is going to be some people in, you know, walkers or something. <laughs> Adult dead are surreal. You know, you know it's, it's like one of the one of the signs that a country like, <laughs> is, is not on the right path is, is when the sales. adult diapers exceed the baby diapers. Yeah, we're there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, yeah, yeah. Yes. South Korea will be there. Yeah. Yeah. They already no. They yeah, passed that point. Yeah. Oh, they passed that they point. Passed point many years ago. Japan passed the point many years ago. Doesn't go well looking um, at the Japanese economy. No, I mean no. like uh, South Korea is like uh, point what, seven. One, yeah, point one six. third replacement rate. Yeah, Isn't it's that crazy. crazy? It's yeah, crazy. so three generations, they're going to be one twenty seventh. So three three percent. So, of so, their current size. You know, I mean, North Korea uh, won't need to invade. They can just walk across. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> this is going to be some people in, you know, walkers or something. <laughs> but you, you know, you've been very verbal about the, you know, the not overpopulation, but massive underpopulation. Yeah, I've been so saying this for ages. Yeah, longevity is going to be an important part of that solution. I also think, by the way, if you increased the productive life of most Americans by just a few years, you'd flip the entire economics here. Well, if I mean, they're willing to work. AI and robots is going to make everything sure. free, basically. Yeah. Um, but, uh, well, how long would you want to live? Uh, I want to I want to go, you know, other planetary systems. I want to go like and explore the time. universe. Yeah. I mean, you know, I would like to double my lifespan for sure. I don't want, you know, I'm not sure I want to talk about immortality, but, you know, at least forever 120, is, 150. It's a long time. One of the worst curses possible would be that. Yes, may you live forever. May you live forever. Yeah. That would be one of the worst yeah. curses you could possibly give yeah. anyone. Uh, but I think life can get very interesting. Yeah. Far more. We're going to speed run Star Trek, as my partner, Alex Wiesner Gross, says. Yeah. 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 Speed running Star Trek would be cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, at a minimum, your kids will have infinite life expectancy if you're talking about escape velocity 
if you can double lifespan, there's, it's not even close. You're, you're clearly past longevity, escape velocity. They, the idea of 50 years of AI improvement. <laughs> yeah, it's like, great. I mean, I, we're going to have that in 20 years. This. I don't know. I've got too many fish to fry. So I invited... Uh, this is something, by the way, that I, that I, think, I, I, I think it's very... It, obviously, other people think this too, but I've long thought that um, like, long, like longevity or semi-immortality is an extremely solvable problem. I don't think it's a yeah. particularly hard problem. Um, I mean, when you consider the fact that your body is extremely synchronized in its age. Yep. The clock must be incredibly obvious. Um, nobody has an old left arm and a young right arm. Right. Why is that? Oh. <laughs> What's keeping them all in sync? Oh. Um, you're programmed to die, is the, is the way it, you're, you're programmed to die. And so if you change the program, yeah. uh, you will live longer. And we've got, you know, species of the bowhead whale can live for 200 years. The Greenland shark can live for 500 years. And when I, when I learned that, I said, why can they, why can't we? And I said, it's either a hardware problem or software problem. And we're going to have the tech to solve that. And I do believe that it's this next decade. So the important thing is not to die from something stupid before the, before the solutions come. You know, I invited you. Uh, In retrospect, the, long, the solution to longevity will seem obvious. Yeah. Extremely obvious. I, I think the thing worth working on